this is Ray Torres, and welcome to another edition of the Battleground series. We are still talking about the Say No to Drugs event that happened back in 1996 in Reading, Pennsylvania. But before we go there, why don't we go to a Mac Classic with RCW Hall of Famer Dr. Johnny Wildside as he comes to the ring with Nurse Vanessa Feelgood and Buster Heidemann as they square off against a young flying heartthrob, Jeff Gribbley. into the body slam. rather effortlessly there again grabbing the hair referee Billy Silverman distracted by Buster Heideman whip into the corner turnbuckle 319 pounds into the corner turnbuckle Ooh, Jeff Ripley with a tremendous feat of strength to throw the good doctor off Kick to the midsection with the DDT. Picking him up by his hair. So far, Jeff Gripley's only mustered a brief bit of offense. I spoke too soon. Whoa. A fly, a rolling forearm with the headlock. Walking up the ropes. surprised after the beating that Jeff has taken that he's mustered this much offense. I take my hat off to him. No, he's, he's worked uh, quite a few of the organizations, worked the independent circuit, and he's a, he's a definite gamer. Chopping the doctor, working him across the ropes. Leapfrog, a back leapfrog, Road is back there for a second. They're switching tosses, the head scissors. The doctor looks like he might have been to an anesthesiologist. Your typical bout between a brawler and a wrestler. You can see Ripley has all the wrestling techniques. Dr. Wildside uses his brute strength. If Gripley can get him down to the mat, that's a great equalizer here in the world of professional wrestling. Yeah, everybody's the same weight on the mat. Jeff Gripley maintaining the headlock. Working the head area. Wildside tosses him across the ring. Misses with the forearm. Flying body. Stomp to the face. Jeff Gripley, the high flyer, much the same as Dennis Diamond. Up to the third rope. I'd watch out for Nurse Feelgood. With the body. Just a one. Just a one count. Buster didn't seem to, uh, to mind it. He let it go. He, he believes in his man. Gripley, back up. If I was Gripley, I'd stay out of that oh. corner. He's a soprano now. Going for a suplex off the top rope. Oh! Just about across the ring. Oh! Jeff Ripley had his foot on the ring, but referee Billy Silverman missed it. An excellent effort by Jeff Ripley. Match. And the Hall of Famer, Dr. Johnny Wasside, comes out victorious again this week. It's Regional Championship Wrestling. If you haven't done so, check us out on Facebook and go to YouTube channel. That's RCW Promotions. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. It helps us out. And it will also notify you when new videos come up because not all videos are going on Facebook. So check us out. Like us and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, let's go to a match. 
with sweet Georgie Love as he squares off against Jake Molson. A lot of people know Jack Molson. He's currently working with the company. But this was his brother, Jake Molson. And he was brought in as a friend of Georgie Love to RCW. But then he betrayed Georgie Love. So this match took place at the Say No to Drugs event. However, if you all remember, if you've been watching, the Flamingo Kid Pinky had problems with Georgie Love, and he decided to step up and manage Jake Molson against Sweet Georgie Love. So let's take a look at that match from Reading, Pennsylvania's Lowes Park Elementary School, 1996 Say No to Drugs event, Sweet Georgie Love versus Jake Daniels, or a.k.a. Jake Molson. Okay, everybody, welcome to Regional Championship Wrestling Say No to Drugs. It's here held in Reading, Pennsylvania at the Lowes Park Elementary School, 1996. We just watched a video clip of the news coverage that was uh, given by Channel 69 News, I believe it was, as the RCW superstars had come to the school earlier last week to uh, give a presentation of why the kids should stay off the drugs. We had the SA winners go up on stage as well with the wrestlers. And here we are with the free wrestling event that was given to the school. And we're having the opening matchup. Sweet Georgie Love versus Jake Molson. And right now, Jake Molson is the one that has the upper hand. Well, he did. Georgie Love with a clothesline on Jake Molson. There's a pick, body slam. And I'll tell you what, these two know each other very well as they've been brawling all over. Leg drop off the second rope and this could be the end as Dennis Ripwreck goes for the count but only gets a two count. Dennis Ripwreck, the third man in the ring. And there goes a rake in the eye, he needs to get on that. You can see there's not a seat in the house. The second event for regional championship wrestling. And there's a clothesline. Jake Molson is showing why he is a tough man. Still only gets a two count as Georgie Love still has some gas in the tank. Now watch this. Right on there on the back. He likes to do that move. And he usually gets a win. Luckily for George, he was close enough to the ropes where the count had to be stopped. We got a photographer out in ringside. The news crew is out there as well somewhere. And now the Flamingo Kid Pinky has showed his face. I'm not sure why he's out there. There's a nice slam by Jake Molson who only gets a two count. Georgie Love's a tough competitor as well, but now look at this choking. Referee Dennis Ripwreck trying to get Jake Molson to stop the choke. Fans are giving a lot of slack to the Flamingo Kid because he shouldn't be out there. Oh. One, two, no. Not just yet. Georgie Love tough competitor and isn't going to be taken down that easy. He gets sent in, he kicks Jake Molson, he clotheslines Jake Molson down and that'll give him a chance to get relaxed and comfortable. Try to get his bearings back because if Jake Molson does, he's going to work way back on that back of his and then that could be it for Georgie. He puts one arm over, that's all he can do. He's not going to get a pin on that. But you never know, Jake Molson could have been caught napping and he could have got the three. And Jake Molson is just working on the back. Sends him right into the ropes and there's a power slam. You talking about power, that's power right there. There's a one, two, and right now Georgie Love doesn't look that great. The Flamingo K. Pinky is out there. I'm not sure why he's out there. He doesn't manage anybody out there. Oh. And now look at this. The Flamingo Kid Pinky is choking Georgie Love 
while the referee has his back turned talking to Jake Molson. Georgie trying to make a comeback as he gets in a couple of shots. And now they're trading fists. The referee needs to step in there because this is not a boxing match and a rake in the eye will always stop that. And Jake Molson is doing a number on George Love. He's had the most of this match. Ooh, a gut shot. And he pulls the hair and drops him down. Dennis Ripwreck only gets a two count. I'll tell you what, Georgie Love is one of the top stars here in regional championship wrestling. And could be considered one of the top contenders to a title. We do understand that regional championship wrestling is going to be crowning its very first champion very soon. And look at this. He picked him up for the backbreaker, and then he just slams him down. He backbreakers him on his top of his uh, one, two, on top of his shoulders, and then he went for the cover, which is smart. He's going for the cover. He's not playing a lot of games, and he's working on the back of Georgie Love. And you can't take too much blows on the back before it's time to take it in. There's an elbow drop, and no, still, Georgie Love is still fighting to stay alive. Oh! Finally, Georgie Love gets out of the way out of one of those devastating elbows, and now Georgie Love is up and ready to rock. Exciting match here from Regional Championship Wrestling. Oh, his back gave way. One, two, only a two count. As I was going to say, we're having an exciting match from Regional Championship Wrestling, and this is the very first match of the night. Plenty more to go. The Flamingo Kid Pinky against Purple Haze. And the main event, Ranger 7 against Kid Extreme. That's a rivalry. Oh! He just clotheslines Georgie Love on the floor. There's no match out there, folks. You hit the ground, you're hitting the ground. There's no match. And now look at, look at this. And the fans are trying to stop Pinky. The Flamingo kid was using the cane and he was hitting Georgie Love with it. And the kids are telling the referee they are excited over this. Look at the, look at the kids in the front row telling the, the referee. And of course Pinky says no, he didn't do nothing. I thought those kids were gonna beat Pinky up. And Jake Molson, he is on a rampage. He is tearing up George Love. This seems to be a one-sided fight so far. Whoa, tilt the world. Body slam. There's a one, two, and still, Georgie Love, out of all the beating that he's been taking in this match, he just refuses to stay down for the three count. And now look at this, pulling the hair, and the referee needs to step in there. Georgie's even on the ropes to break the move. I think now it's gonna be soon, Dennis Ripwreck, the referee, is gonna have to make a judgment call on whether or not, George now look at this. What in the world? Oh, Georgie got out of the way and Pinky hit Jake Molson with his cane by accident. The crowd is laughing. He hit, he hit Jake Molson with his cane. And now Georgie's going to the top, high cross body. One, two, it's over. It is over, and now look at Pinky. Oh, DDTs 
Georgie Love, the Flamingo Kid Pinky, and Jake Molson are attacking Sweet Georgie Love. He got the win. What a disgraceful display shown here by the Flamingo Kid Pinky and Jake Molson. And we'll be back with more of Regional Championship Wrestling's Say No to Drugs event when we return. There you have it. Jake Molson or Jake Daniels, whichever one. I think it's Jake Daniels Molson. Who knows what it is? But what it is is Georgie Love gets a win. Now, last week, Ranger 7 wrestled Tommy Idol when Kid Extreme came out and helped Tommy Idol beat Ranger 7. A lot of history between these two is both of them were trained by Bodacious Pretty Boy. Yours truly. The two never liked each other. They always had problems. And this was the story going into all of this. But when Kid Extreme interfered in the match with Tommy Idol, that caused a rift. And Ranger 7 wanted this match at the Lowes Park Elementary School in Reading, Pennsylvania. The main event of the Say No to Drugs event. Ranger 7 squares off against Kid Extreme. Get ready for some high-flying action. And here comes another student of the Bodacious Pretty Boy, Ranger 7. Now, this is going to be a great match. The kids love Ranger 7. They hate Kid Extreme. Each one of these guys were trained by the same... Look at how the kids are just engulfing Ranger 7. They love this man. Wow. And there he just shoved Kid Extreme. The fans are going nuts for Ranger 7. Here we go, folks. This is going to be an exciting main event. This is what the people came to see. And the crowd is chanting for Ranger. I'm even choked up about it. He's worked so long and hard. He was the man who brought this together. He came up with this idea for the Say No to Drugs event for RCW. He got his wish to get this going, and he did it. And here he is in the main event. In the elementary school that he was in years earlier. That's right. Elementary school, the Lowers Park Elementary School in Reading, Pennsylvania. This is the school that the Ranger 7 had come to. And the crowd is chanting for Ranger. I don't know if that's going to throw Kid Extreme off. As you can see, Ranger 7 can do Lucha Libre style wrestling. He can do Matt style wrestling. But Kid Extreme, he's a brawler. Oh, spinning back kick by Ranger 7. Ranger 7 with a backflip off the top. Well, I think it was off the second, actually. One, two. There you see Ranger 7. No! Oh, working on that arm. Oh, hook clothesline. Ranger 7, he does those hook clotheslines better than anyone. And there, they, people call that a lion salt. One, two, but he only gets a two count as Ranger 7 doesn't have 
Kid Extreme down here. And there's Kid Extreme. He saw the opening and he takes it. And then a chop right to the throat. Wow, the fans are solidly behind Ranger 7. But right now, Ranger 7 is about to get a butt beating by this man, Kid Extreme, who's showing his street sense, some of the stuff he learned behind bars. Like I said, when he went to jail, he learned about staying off of drugs because he never wanted to go back to prison. But at the same token, he learned a lot of evilness in that prison. And he came back to regional championship wrestling with a new attitude, and that attitude is causing him to be disrespected by wrestlers and fans alike. Spinning back kick, and down goes Kid Extreme. See the fans are definitely behind Ranger 7. Nice maneuver. One, two. One, two again. Ranger 7 couldn't get it. Kid Extreme gets a two count. Ranger 7, no. You can hear it yourself, folks. Ranger 7 has got the crowd right behind him. And it's like I keep saying over and over. Oh, come on, ref, get that choke out. It's like I say over and over again. If you see Ranger 7 or anything that has RCW on it, you want to come check it out. Regional Championship Wrestling has the very best in professional wrestling. And you want to be there. Check us out. If you've never seen Regi RCW in person live, come check us out. We are exciting. We are there, right there for the, you people. We have hardcore. We have Lucha Libre style. We have home entertainment style, professional wrestling. We can do it all. And you're seeing some of the very best that Regional Championship Wrestling has to offer. Frankenstein right off the top rope, Kid Extreme. Didn't see it coming. Ranger 7 is injured as well, though. To the top. Oh! Those knees went right into the face of Kid Extreme. Ranger 7 pointing up again. I'll tell you what, Ranger 7 just put it all out on the line. No! He should have hooked the legs. Kid Extreme is a lot bigger than Ranger 7. The interesting part is, is that both guys pretty much know each other very well. This is another feud that's been going on for quite some time. And there you see a bridge. Oh, I told you, that referee, Dave Curley, He'll shove you if he has to. He doesn't take bull. Ranger 7 is on the outside now. And Kid Extreme is going out there with him. Oh! He tried to whip him into that corner post. But he got reversed and he got whipped into the corner post. And he's down on the ground now. He's got someone's chair. He places Kid Extreme onto the chair. And now, Ranger 7. Oh! What a maneuver by Ranger 7, who's enjoying himself in this one right now because he's on top of the ball game. Top guys that the bodacious pretty boy has trained. Oh, oh! What a miscue as Ranger 7 tripped 
on the top rope. And because of that, that gave the Kid Extreme an opportunity and he took it by power driving Ranger 7. No, not yet. I think if he would have hooked the legs, I think he would have got the, the cover. There's a side slam. He's going for the cover, he hooks the legs this time, but you can see his body weight is not on top of Ranger 7, which allowed him to put that one shoulder up. He claims that it was a three count, but Dave Curley says no, it was a two. And from our vantage point, yes, it was a two count. He lift that shoulder up at the last minute. He just whipped into the ropes. He tried that move again, and he got head scissored. Ranger 7 is down. There's a spinning back kick, Ranger 7. I'm enjoying this, ladies and gentlemen. I am definitely enjoying this situation. And there's a leg drop to the back of the head by Ranger 7. It was a two count. I think it would have been a three. Kid Extreme was close enough to the ropes. Anything goes in this one. Anything goes when the whistle blows. And I get the funny feeling Ranger 7 decided to use the chair first. It could be because Ranger 7 is running out of, running out of gas, you can say. Nice maneuver. There's your one, two, and that's it. Ranger seven has won it. Congratulations is indeed in order. Unbelievable, folks. Ranger seven, victorious. Look at the mob of people on top of Ranger seven. He did it. Wins the main event beating Kid Extreme. Thanks for watching. Say no to drugs event from Regional Championship Wrestling. I'm Barry J. Walker, and we'll see you one more time. Showing by both men, but Ranger 7 gets the win. And we are out of time here at the Battleground Series. Don't forget again, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, RCW Promotions. And now I want everybody to keep this in mind as we're still locked down. Stay safe. Look out for each other. We're all in this together. We need each other to stay strong and all that for the RCW. I'm Ray Torres. This has been the Battleground Series, and we'll see you next week.